Hello and welcome back. I'm Alicia. This week's video is a DIY jewelry stand and jewelry board. Let's get started with some of the tools and supplies needed for this project. I use hand tools primarily with the exception of an electric drill. So this is a true beginner's DIY. So here we go. Cork board, thumbtacks, eyelet screws, hooks could be an option, dowels, I use four different diameters, one and one half inch, seven eighths of an inch, half an inch, and a quarter of an inch, two clamps, screwdriver, tape measure, small level, gloves, painter's tape, sandpaper or a sanding block, hand saw, paint is optional, if so, your choice, wood, an assortment of drill bits and accessories for specific sizes of the wooden dowels you'll use, a power drill, and an assortment of flathead screws. I ended with three stands and one board. I did this project over two days. Day one, I cut my dowels down to size. I cut the circular openings for my horizontal pieces in my large vertical one and a half inch dowel. In my oval base piece of wood, I cut the circular opening of one and one half inch in the center and on either side, my half inch circular openings. Recap in day one. This shows the use of three different size dowels. The larger vertical is one and one half inch in diameter. The horizontal is seven eighths inch in diameter. And the two shorter verticals are half an inch in diameter. Day two, I'm gonna pick up where I left off at. I need two base pieces of wood for my other two stands and I also need to start on my cork board. That means taping everything off and preparing to paint. Here you can see that I spray painted the cork board frame white. In trying to decide on what I could use for the base, I remember I had some drawers from a demo. I took the drawers apart to determine if I could use that wood. Then I thought about some scrap wood that I had stored between the slats of my fence. I decided to go with that wood versus the wood from the drawers. I then drilled the one and a half inch diameter openings in the wood. I then dry fit my dowels and they fit perfectly. They were actually so tight that I had to screw them in and I knew I would not need any glue. I then took the dowels out using the hand saw. I cut the wood that would serve as the base or platform for my stands. The two half inch dowel pieces, I decided to paint a band of black on them. I also lightly sprayed all the other dowel pieces white, something like a whitewash, along with the first oval base. On the rectangular bases, I opted to spray paint those black. Here I've removed the masking tape and the I'll paper. I'll tape it off again to add triangles to the right side. Remember, be creative with your project. Sky is the limit. If you want circles, stripes, color, whatever you like, go for Looking it. Looking closely at the smaller dowels, you can see that the black paint bled or ran under the painter's tape. I'll repair this or hide this by adding a second color. I'm going to get started assembling the stands. I pre-drill an opening for the screws in the base and the vertical dowels to prevent splitting. At the last moment, I add another horizontal quarter of an inch diameter dowel to my tallest jewelry stand. This accommodates necklaces. To make this happen, I simply drilled a quarter of an inch drill bit through the vertical dowel. I added hot glue to the dowel to provide separation for the necklaces. These are the final four pieces. Mm -hmm. 
because the paint ran or bled under the tape on the half inch shorter pieces of dowel, I went ahead and added gold paint and stippled the gold into the black. On the cork board, I added to the top and bottom eyelet screws. These are roughly a quarter of an inch diameter openings for the quarter inch dowels. This is a hanging cork board that I'm going to add thumbtacks to. Now let's see the stands at work. Now let's look at this ultra simple DIY jewelry cork board. As I look at it, it looks a little unbalanced with just the paint on the right hand side. But again, this is just inspiration. Remember, be creative, have fun, and enjoy your ability to make and create useful items for your life and style. Like always, thank you for watching and following along. Like this video, share it with a friend, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. See you soon.